the uh, guinea pig club was a very very important organization during my life it was formed in july 1941 and uh, formed by a group of young pilots we were named guinea pigs because uh, we were treated as and regarded ourselves as experimental animals. Plastic surgery in the uh, early part of the war was crude and the um, surgeons were in fact uh, the apprentices, they were doing the job. Burns treatment hadn't really evolved. Mackie Mackindoe took the opportunity to, to develop new techniques and uh, he certainly had a lot of, a lot of practice were primarily fighter fighter pilots in those days, but the latter part of the war became bomber crews. I went down the back to try and help the rear gunner up to the front. On the way down I grabbed a fire extinguisher which burnt the middle out of my hand. The fuel warning light on the starboard inner was um, flickering and um, fuel was being pumped over a very hot engine. I was knocked out when I hit the ground and I came to in with the whole aircraft in flames. The um, aircraft caught fire. I, I had um, sort of superficial burns more or less everywhere but um, what they call third degree burns which is when the skin is burnt off, the whole skin is burnt off only on my leg down there and my arm there. The chap who was in the front cockpit as acting as navigator uh, he, he died instantly. The pilot landed the plane on fire and I managed to get out with three other members of the crew but the rear gunner unfortunately didn't make it. We crashed and our tail gunner was killed and I went looking for him apparently as far as I'm told. I suppose climbing out of a, an inferno of a burning small plane was, was just a an act of God. I remember my mother coming into the ward having had a telegram to say I was seriously burned and uh, she said which one is my son. There was a mirror on the wall over the over the wash basin and I was just horrified but by what I saw. People coming towards you, towards you saw your face and um, they, they couldn't stand it. They, they either weep and cry or they walk to the other side of the road. People did stare and because, you know, it was unusual to see someone disfigured like that. Up to that sort of time, uh, you know, wounded soldiers and the like were kept out of sight of the public because it was bad for the war effort. In East Grinstead, Mackindoo talked to the um, various organisations within the town and um, they became known as the town that didn't stare. But people were afraid, I think. It was, it was fear. I didn't feel that, and I don't think a lot of my friends did. But they were different. Being a guinea pig to me is um, well, something I, I, I've always cherished. Well, to me it's a great privilege, because I, I feel I was very lucky to become a member. I feel it's an honour to, to have uh, been connected with such uh, glorious people. Been, been my life for the last 45 years. Obviously we get fewer and fewer as time goes on, but um, those that are left um, make the best of it. Well, as far as we can see, we're like a band of brothers, basically. We all, uh, one, one looks out to the other. Well, I think it's great that um, we're still going and after all this time, and I can't see well, I suppose there is, a, I can't see any serious reason for stopping, but um, I think it'll go on till the very last one of us finishes his journey's end, as they put it. I hope they carry on the memories when we've all gone. Um, I'm sure the Ralph Benevolent Fund will do that for us, and so that uh, the Guinea Pig Club is never forgotten. Cheers, Cheers for 75, 75 years! years.